And hello everyone. Okay, so I didn't use any of the audio that I actually recorded because the room was really echoey. So I'm going to do voiceover for everything. My hair is naturally straight, so what I do is I section my hair in one to one and a half inch sections. I brush it out and then I use a wand to curl the hair away from my face. I actually recommend using a glove, but I couldn't find mine today, so that's all right. I hold the hair on for about 10 seconds and then I pull the wand out and insert two clips. Also, if your hair ever falls out of the curl, totally fine. Just wind it back in and then I use these little clips that you can get from any basic beauty store and clip my hair in place. So as you're gonna see, I actually only do the top one, two, and three sections back away from my face straight up. And then as we move forward a little bit, I do the rest of my curls just away from my face on the side. But again, little pieces came out. I have layered hair. It's totally fine. Just flip them back in and pin them down. Now when it comes to this final back piece, I make sure to tease it just a little bit. As you saw, I like to have a little bit of extra volume back on the crown of my head. And then flip all the extra little pieces of hair in and pin away. Oh, and I almost forgot, I always use this uh, protective spray before using hot tools. I forgot for the first three, but getting back into it, it smells really good and it protects your hair when you're using hot tools like this. So, okay, so I'm curling away from my face and then using a pin and I just use one little clip when I'm doing the side curls. So everything from the front of frame of my face all the way back to the back of my head, I just section little one to one and a half inch sections and pin my hair up. Also, it's important to remember this does not have to be perfect. It definitely takes practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to do. Once I pin the last piece of hair, I let my all my curls cool a little bit. So as you can see, I'm testing out the front curl and it's perfectly cool but the last curl I did is still a little bit hot so while I'm waiting I figured I'd show you this funny setup that I have going on I usually have all my studio lights but I had to use a Christmas tree and a log with Christmas lights on it because um, yeah filming while I'm on vacation you got to work with what you got going on okay so the last curl is finally all cooled so you just take each pin out one by one and let the hair fall. So we're gonna speed this up a little bit and watch that. Alrighty, all the pins are out. I recommend brushing through your hair with your fingers first and then to bring all the curls kind of together and not have them be frizzy or anything depending on your hair type, I brush out my hair with a brush. Um, it brings all the curls together and makes them really big and voluptuous. So ta-da, this is the final look. But there was one piece of hair that I wanted to recurl. So, you know, as I said, nothing has to be perfect. You can always recurl your hair. And here we go, this is the final look. I love that when you pin your hair up, you have so much volume with curls just like this. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Also, just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And sending tons of love to you. Bye guys.